What's up, world? Happy Friday. Um, I'm in Brantford at Value Village. I don't think I've been here for like two weeks, maybe. I just have no motivation to go to this one because it's just absolute garbage. Overpriced and way too many people come here, so it's always picked. It's uh, around lunchtime, so the fresh racks should be all dropped off. So we'll go see if we find anything, but I'm not holding my breath. Here's a single stitch piece. So it's just a take back of the night. Haynes BPT 399. Sure. Here's another single stitch tee. It says 5 foot 10 pack. Serious Publishing Inc. Creators of the original 5 foot 10 pack. I don't know what the hell that is. That's going to be about a very serious party. But they got 6 bucks on that, so I can't put that in the $5 bin. Here's a Misfits shirt. It's the Union Jack. Misfits hit on the back. They got $9 on it though, so it's, I don't think it's worth grabbing. It's probably. 20 bucks, 25 bucks maybe. A little three piece country banger here. They're all modern, so I'm not grabbing them. A little Luke Bryan, trash. Jason Aldean, trash. But we got the Go Garth. If this was my size, I might grab that, but nah. I feel like there was a hoodie with this waifu on it. I crumba, she got big old breasticles. Here's a cool little Beauty and the Beast joint. There's no date on it, so I don't know how old it is. It's wide double stitch. So I think it's modern. I think I'm going to skip. I don't know what this is. Kingdom bound. Really cool dye job, though. Shout out whoever dyed this. This is sick. This is definitely a vintage tee. But it's on um, Court Club. They got 849 on it. It's double stitched. But it's really nice. XL. Mm, I'm going to pass, though. Too much for a person. This goes absolutely insane. It's $12.49 though. I can't pay that, bro. I already have a bunch of these, so I'm gonna leave it, but that is sick as hell. Why is this so long? Look at this shit. It's like a foot and a half longer than a regular t-shirt. Is this a dress? Okay, we got a 2001 Spider-Man shirt here. It's really weird. It's like carpet almost. See, 2001. Guess the price of this. I'll be honest, I've come to this store a lot and I'm aware of the prices of some of this stuff. Watch this. $17 for a sweater? Well, vintage sweaters here. This one's a Ducks Unlimited. Shout out Nadia. I'd pick it up for you if it wasn't so cracked. Then we got a Gull Lake Cottager on the Triumph. And this one is a Canadian Canoe Museum on the Old Gildan. They're all $9, so not grabbing those. This is pretty fire. The Maple Toronto Maple Leafs. PSC. Definitely vintage. Oh no. Is it worth $13? I don't think so. It's pretty cool, but I don't know, man. I don't know anything about this. This is definitely vintage. I don't think it's actually Adidas. I think it's like a bootleg. Just that it's using the Adidas logo. It says Adidas Park City. I don't know. I would definitely say 80s. But they got 13 on it, so I'm leaving it. Another cool vintage jacket. The Sale 2000. Back it. What? $13. I just, there's no point in buying jackets in the summer. Like, simple as that. And then, uh, old out of the blue windbreaker. What bat. Definitely 90s. But, this one's $18. And a Batman vs. Superman Rock'em Sock'em. This is about 20 ish dollars, but they're uh, four bucks each, so nah. A couple classics Pulp Fiction, Drift Mitch. Where are you at, bro? These are yours. And Reservoir Dogs. Two absolute bangers. But not worth anything. Alright, word on the street is this is the rarest VHS here. This dude, this my man right here, says it used to be the VHS GOAT local. So, uh, I don't know. We'll leave it here for him to drool on for the next bunch of times he comes in. <laughs>
Insane. Absolutely insane that Value Village would even sell this. Like, look at the condition of this. Hello? Value Village. What the hell are you smoking? All right, it's gonna be all she wrote today. Um, my birthday was fun. Went and played Disky, it was good. Um, I'm not going out to hit too many stores today because I gotta get ready. I have a wedding tomorrow, so I have to drive up there um, in the morning. So I have to make sure everything's prepared. It's my first wedding of the year. And it's been a while since I've actually done them, so yeah. Um, also, shout out that dude I just met. His name's Thomas Peninga. He's got a page called Cinema Asylum, which is actually a sick name. Like, that's really fire, Cinema Asylum. Um, he collects VHS, so hopefully I got some cool stuff for him because my VHS doesn't really move that well. So uh, yeah, it'd be sick if I could unload some stuff to him because he's into horror and stuff with good art, I guess, because he's an artist. But yeah, shout out to Cinema Asylum. It's nice to meet people who are passionate about something, especially something so random like dead format stuff like VHS, um, because I also like them. They're just too, too much space. So yeah. Yo, what is good world? It is uh, Tuesday. I didn't re honestly remember that it was Tuesday, but yesterday was a holiday, so it's Tuesday. That's why the weekend felt so long. Um, I had a wedding on Saturday. It went pretty good. It pretty much rained all day, which is rough for photos. Most of the day was inside, which was okay, but you know, you want to do photos outside. So we didn't get like a sunset or anything like that. And I kind of am feeling like shit. So I'm not sure if I got sick at the wedding or what happened, but yeah, I'm really not feeling good. Yesterday I was feeling a bit scratchy in the throat and then today I'm feeling pretty rough. So I think tomorrow or the next day might be absolute dog shit for me but that's okay but it's tuesday i'm at value village i never come on tuesdays because it's seniors day and it's always way too busy but i forgot it was tuesday and we had to go drop off deliveries anyways so i'm in ancaster right now on my way into hamilton so let's go see pretty cool nascar hat here the cat racing with like the Tigers to claws almost, but $7.49 is ridiculous. All your other hats are $3. Don't charge different prices for different things, you stupid idiots. Here's a pretty cool single stitch shirt. It says Fringe North, Sudbury Fringe Theater Festival. Single stitch all around, $5.49. Pretty cool. Might grab it. I don't know how I would sell it. But the graphic's sick, so I think I'm gonna pick it up. All right, I ended up skipping that shirt. It was um, $5.97 or whatever, so six bucks is way too much to put in the $10 bin. And um, I don't think it was, it was cool, but I don't know if I'd be able to sell it online really because it was like a local thing. So yeah, the graphic was fire, but um, if nobody sees the graphic, nobody buys it nobody buys it and nobody sees that it's dope so i skipped that um i'm now just dropped off my deliveries decided to get some food because i'm literally going downhill i feel absolutely dog shit don't think i'm gonna hit value village but i'm gonna go hit um the mission and then probably go home but yeah i'm gonna eat my lunch now so i'll see y'all in mission thrift these are like the perfect combination of fire and hideous at the same time. Whoops. 2000s and one. They're absolutely demolished. Eight bucks. Garbage. Perry, pair of Nike Mamba Focus. Absolutely cooked. Like, look at this. Why would you even sell this? Just throw these out, bro. They want 10 bucks for them. I wish this was about disc golf. My disc golf putting's been horrible lately. Ben Crenshaw, can you help me? Another VeggieTales for Craig, but it's in too rough a shape, I think. There's just way too many people everywhere, <clears throat> and I'm not in the mood to deal with humans today, so I think we're gonna shut her down pretty soon. Yeah, well, I'm definitely just not in the mood to do with people today. I should have known. I should have known. I should have just came, dropped off the stuff, and went home, but 
I don't know. I'm the kind of guy that if I get sick, holy shit, I'm miserable. And you just don't want to be anywhere near me. And I can feel that coming on. So I'm going to call it before I start scrapping an old person or something. Plus the thrifts have been absolutely garbage. So, you know, it's whatever. I'll see you all in the next video. Hopefully I'll be feeling better. If you don't see me in the next video, it's because I didn't feel better. And Michelle finished her video because she went on a cool trip with her sister. So that's probably going to be the next video you see. Okay. Peace out, world.